In this tutorial for Gaslands, I am going to talk about collisions. Well, what happens if your vehicle or somebody else's vehicle runs into your vehicle or crashes into a wall or something? So this is what you're going to go through. You're going to active vehicle declares whether it wants to smash into the obstacle or the vehicle or evade. The obstruction or thing getting hit can do a smash attack back or evade. And if it's an obstacle, it's always going to declare that. Roll all smash attacks. It's kind of a simultaneous thing. Roll evades if available. Um, apply those uncanceled hits to your hull. And each vehicle involved in the collision is going to take some hazard tokens. So let's take a closer look at collisions. All right, this vehicle's turn to activate and it decides, you know what? I'm done with you. I'm just going to smash into you. So it just it picks this medium, go straight. Now what you don't do is just hop over the vehicle and that's where you end up. What happens is you go until you hit the obstacle and that's as far as you're going to go. It could be a wall, it could be a building, you know, whatever you run into, you're going to stop there unless it's a destructible obstruction, then you will continue on. But this is not. So what happens here? This one initiated the attack. It decides, does it want to really smash into it and say, I'm going to damage you, or like, you know, that was an accident, uh, especially if it's its own vehicle, they're on the team, I'm going to avoid you. But this one goes, I'm smashing you. Now, this one is the recipient, kind of like the defender of it, and it could decide to smash back or try to avoid. They both decide we're going to smash. So this one's going speed gear four, this one's gear three. Now, since it's a T-bone, into the side of the vehicle, they each roll their own attack. But this one will get four dice because it's going in gear four. And this one's going to get three dice attack against that one. And it's just like a shooting attack, four, five, or six. Six counts as two. And so it did three damage to that one. Now this one does not get an avoid roll. It's just like an explosion because it decided to smash back. If it did an avoid, it would get those three dice to try to nullify some of this damage, but it's taken three damage. But it's also smashing back, and it does one back to that one. So this takes one damage, this one takes three. Since they both decided to smash each other, this one gains two hazards. And it's buddy over here, I guess you call it it's buddy, gains two. Now there could be some modifiers to this. Let me pull this out of the way. That is, that is if it's something like this, a truck. Now this is a medium weight vehicle. This is a heavy weight vehicle. So this would normally get four, but because it's one heavier class, it's going to get two dice. And this one would get three, but because it's one lighter, it loses a die. So you can see how heavier vehicles can be very damaging to other vehicles in this game. Now, let's take this off and let's apply it to a dune buggy. Well, let me get those three dice here and let's get the four back. So if we apply this, I hope I have enough dice. Here we go. I'm going to have to dig some out. There we go. This one is too heavier because light to medium too heavy. It's too heavier than that one. So it's actually going to get four more dice. This one is too lighter than that one, so instead of losing one, like the last one did, it's going to lose two, and it only gets to put one die back. Now, this only applies if it attacks. If it's still trying to avoid, like this one says, I want to avoid this damage, it still gets all three dice to avoid. It's only if it's smashing back. Now, that's a side swipe, or that. So, what happens if it's a tailgating type situation where this one smashes up behind it. In this case, you subtract the speeds. Four minus three, this one's going to get one die. This one's going to get none because it's going slower. And then, of course, it's going to get its four dice because it's heavier. Now, what if it's a head on collision? So there's side, tailgate, kind of rear, and head on. 
you basically add the speeds together. So this one's going to get, wow, uh, 7 plus it's 4 for being heavier. This one's also going to get 7, but it's going to lose 2 dice. So it's going to be at 5 dice. And they're both, of course, are going to get 2 hazards. Now, if, let's say this one does want to avoid, what's going to happen is they still get 2 hazards and it gets this void roll. What if they both want to avoid? Well, no collision happens, and they both only take one hazard. It's an automatic miss if they both avoid, but attacker, whoever initiated the hit, has to say whether they attack and avoid. If they say avoid, and this one goes, I'm gonna attack back, well, this one does not get to attack after all. It only gets to an avoid roll. All right, we found out about vehicles, you like, medium vehicles, heavy vehicles, light vehicles, we can figure that out. But what about stuff like a building or a wall, a tree? How do we figure out what happens there? Well, it's pretty simple. We have to figure out what is the weight of the obstruction. Is it a light obstruction, a medium obstruction, or a heavy obstruction? And basically, heavy obstructions would be walls, building, rocks. A medium obstruction, um, barrels, light poles, maybe a tree, you might count that. And lightweight would be um, a trash can, maybe a uh, fruit stand, and stuff like that. So if this vehicle crashes into it, it goes, do, do I want to say, oh, I want to smash it, or do I want to avoid it? Normally, avoid the obstruction always goes, I'm smashing. So it doesn't go, I'm gonna avoid you. So it goes smash, so no matter what, it's a collision, this is possibly taking damage, but if you do avoid, you at least get your avoid dice. And it's just like, um, it's counted as moving zero, and it's always counted as head-on collision. So this moves zero, so you take this vehicle's speed, so if it's going four, it's gonna go, it's gonna take this, however, this is a heavy weight, so it's going to take two additional because it's lighter than that. And then, so the wall did two to it. It's going to get its four dice for avoid and did not avoid any of it, so it takes two damage, but also because it was a collision that didn't need, that both did not avoid, it takes two hazards. So that's basically what happens when you run into an obstruction that's not a vehicle.